Hi, Jeff Cote here with another session of BoatingTechTalk.com. Thanks everyone for joining me. And we've got a question from a fellow boater, Frederick from Sweden. Hi, Frederick. Thanks for emailing me all the way over to Sweden. I want to go there one day. I heard it's, I've seen the pictures. It looks so amazing, especially the boating part. Amazing. I'm in the start phase of designing and installing a new electrical system on my sailboat here in Sweden. I will go for a system based on lithium or ion batteries from Victron Energy. Victron Energy, by the way, is one of our favorite uh, manufacturers uh, for products. Big fan. I have a Victron on my boat for an inverter charger, and uh, they're awesome. Do I need an isolation transformer if I install an inverter charger? Or will the inverter charger itself protect me from bad shore power? Oh, Frederick, that's a good one. In short, the answer is no. So, but let's take a little bit of time to talk about why. So inverter ch chargers and isolated transformers really play completely different roles. An inverter charger does two things. It converts, right, AC to DC. That's called a converter, which is now called a charger. So charging is converting AC to DC or inverts, which is the opposite of convert, right? And it goes from DC to AC. So that's an inverter and a charger. So that's one device and that's strictly it. It doesn't do anything else. It's just either inverts, creates AC, or chargers, creates DC. But you need the other to do the other, right? So it's a conversion process. That's an inverter charger. Now an isolation transformer does, ni does none of those things. And generally it's a way to protect your underwater metals from stray current corrosion. So isolation transformers will deal with grounding issues, right? And will also deal with reverse polarity. So if you're designing a boat, I would, and you are able to install an isolation transformer on your boat, I would strongly encourage you to have both devices as they are built for two completely uh, different purposes. The challenge is an isolation transformer is on some models uh, are pretty heavy and finding a room the space and being able to accommodate that weight on your shore power connection is something that very few sailboats are able to do. Not that we can't, some do, certainly the bigger ones do, but most sailboats below 50 or 60 feet don't have isolation transformers on board. They don't. Not that they shouldn't, it's just hard for them to find a place on where to mount that really heavy piece of equipment. There are now newer models that are lighter, Victron makes them, uh, so that's possible. Uh, but yes, I would consider both items on my boat as they do completely different and very important things. So Frederick from Sweden, thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, please ask them below or send us an email via the contact forms on our website. Happy to donate my time to share information with you. You can support us in keeping this channel ad-free by purchasing some merchandise on our store or by making a donation on PayPal. And don't forget to subscribe Thanks again for watching.